Hello guys. So I have um, something new that I am trying. I'm going to try to do it um, probably once every six months or so whenever I feel like doing it. But um, there's something that I'm going to do up until the, I want to say Valentine's Day. Um, because I know, you know, that's the time when everybody's wanting to really, like, know what the heck is going on. Um, all throughout the year, we want to know what the hell's going on. But for some reason, Valentine's Day is, like, that time when we feel like, you know, love is in the air and it may stir some feelings or what have you. But anyway, the special is that I am going to do a two-question live call on special for $40 okay and what that means is that um, you guys go directly to the PayPal and you pay for the reading you give me your information but along with your information you also give me um, your phone number because I will contact you but I'm gonna be calling from um, a private number so I definitely need your phone number um, also what else was I gonna say these are gonna be very very uh, short because of course they are questions there are two questions however long it takes me to answer your two questions um, and I don't foresee it taking longer than I'm gonna say five or ten minutes so also when you do that when you do purchase it you'll need to go ahead and um, make sure you email me after you purchase the reading so we can go ahead and set up a time for you because I do not want um, I don't want to overlap so you know it's not going to be the regular seven days out it's going to be whatever time I send you back to schedule your um, live telephone reading and if you know if you've been on the site you'll know that um, there's not very often that I do telephone readings and um, they're 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 kind of up there because I generally don't do those because I have a lot of things going on so um, and, and so that's the reason why I'm also doing like the questions and not just like a 30 minute reading I'm strictly doing questions okay so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and um, uh, hit your girl up so that's what I have for you and we'll get to the reading all right cancer so <clears throat> I left off with Gemini for the month of January so I'm gonna get started with you guys instead of Aries this month and I know my Aries are not going to be happy with this but it's just the way it is that one wanted to flip over so the Hierophants here. Taurus energy. This is all about like, you know, you have a certain way that you believe. Certain thing that you believe. And I, I don't think you are wavering from it for the remainder of January. Um, it, other people just need to get on board is what I'm hearing here. Somebody needs to get on board. <clears throat> Let's see. What is the energy around Cancer? Three of Wands. When I was pre-shuffling, I saw the Three of Wands. This is Aries energy. So definitely could be an Aries Taurus person that you are um, thinking about or that is in your energy. Somebody that um, is dreamy. Somebody that um, is spiritual. Somebody that is very mothering. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who you feel is far away from you for one thing. Um, maybe there's a divide between the two of you and in in your feelings. Um, I feel somebody's waiting or you're waiting. You're waiting on someone or someone's waiting on you. Okay. There's that energy. I'm feeling like there's something that you feel like you deserve um, and you're not accepting anything less than that I don't know why I'm getting like this very sentimental like feeling here let's see what this is the world 
This is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy here. This is also Saturn. Um, Saturn brings about lessons. I feel like whoever this is, this is somebody that um, was brought into your life to teach you something. Okay. I feel like there's been communication going on or either you guys want some communication, you want to start over, um, want to do things differently because maybe you kind of feel like there's there's something that you have learned from this person um, or they feel like there's something they've learned from you because, you know, this could go vice versa. But um, yeah, Saturn is a fixed energy, you know. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Again, I feel like um, there's there's this feeling of I've learned my lesson going on right now. What is the underlying issue here for Cancer? And we have a King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. The underlying issue is that um, I feel like with the King of Swords, you know, it's a very controlled energy. It can come off this person, this kind of energy can come off very kind of cold, um, kind of aloof, maybe a know-it-all even is how I'm feeling with this King of Swords, um, not really being able to look at something from somebody else's standpoint is what this energy is right here. So I feel like that's kind of getting in the way of um, what it is that you really want. It's almost like your knowledge is like working against you because I do feel like there's something that you feel like you're not wanting to budge from. It's like you know the truth and you're sticking to it. Okay. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. Look at that. Ace of Wands. There was an opportunity for something new to begin. Um, even to start dating. Sexual attraction. Again, I mean, this. there's this fiery energy right here. Um, there was a potential for some sort of um, relationship. Some sort of stable, happy relationship. Because the one and the three of Wands, of course, is a four of Wands. That is still Aries energy that is present in your reading. I do feel like that um, there's an individual here that uh, either they wanted to start something with you or you wanted to start something with them. I'm feeling like it, it was kind of, um, it was going both ways. But I do feel like this person is still very present here. But there's something that I feel like that you are missing, even though I feel a lot of you guys are thinking, you know, I, I know myself and I know what I want. I know how to maneuver. I think there's still something that um, you guys are missing. Okay. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Cancer's crowning thoughts. Seven of Swords. You have a seven in your conscious mind. And then under the bottom we have the King of Swords. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I feel like there's somebody that you, you, God, there's somebody that you guys are very attracted to. Look at the Seven of Swords here. But I do feel like a lot of you guys are already um, involved in something. You're already involved in something here. But there's somebody that you just cannot take your mind off of. Um, you don't really know what to do with them. I feel like there has been some sort of um, uh, discontentment with this person. I feel like, yeah, because see, the Five of Swords is up here. And you see the Seven, the Two of Swords is down there. So it's like you haven't quite decided what to do with them. And I feel like there's some um, game or something that's been played where one of you has tried to like one up the other one. Um, and maybe you feel like this person is is not out of your league, but they think they're out of your league. 
and maybe they come across a little too snooty for you I don't know um, maybe they're older more mature maybe they are um, uh, you know just they have a certain ideal for their life and then you have somebody else that's already like you know that's um, they're home to you they're familiar to you and they're they're safe for you here but I do see that this person is, is still on your mind okay what's coming in okay for cancer oh the star Aquarius energy the star Healing, your soulmate, your destiny. I feel like there's an Aries with um, Aquarius in their chart here for you guys. And it's maybe this person too that is like they want what they want. And I can definitely see that this person definitely has some sort of, um, you know, high society about themselves even they could be rich they don't have to be it could just be the way that they present themselves but um, I feel like they're very um, conscientious of who they are and, and what they want but this person I feel could be your soulmate definitely now it doesn't mean that you're gonna be with this person that that is like an active choice that you make you know you and this person like with the world here have you learned everything that you need to learn have you because this person's here to teach you something I'm telling you that that much I can tell you guys let's see how is cancer feeling about this situation the wheel something's changed or either you wanted to change you want them to change. Sagittarius, Piscean energy. Hmm. You feel like you've changed as well. But there's something about them that you feel like has changed. What's influencing Cancer? Two of Swords. There's that Two of Swords again that we saw here in the Seven of Swords. You haven't decided what to do with them. I think this person kind of drives you batty a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's like you get so so irritated by them and you feel like, oh, they've changed. Yeah, I don't know who they are or who they think they are, you know. But still, you're still right here. But you're not deciding to do anything with them. I feel like they're still ever so present in your mind, though. Hopes or fears. This is Libra energy. Hopes or fears for Cancer. Then we have a King of Wands. You have the King and you the King of Wands. I don't know why, guys. Every so often, my my camera just freezes and just acts a freaking donkey ass. But um, picking up where we left off. Your in your hopes or fears, we have the King of Wands here. I'm gonna start pulling a hope and a fear so it'll be clear for you guys um, and I think I used to do that once upon a time but um, for today we're just gonna do your hopes or fear so with the king of wands I feel like um, your fear is that this person is is wanting to um, either dominate you um, or like turn their back on you this person you know is, is going to be angry with you or they they come across angry and argumentative um, I think you want this person to take it take the initiative towards you not be aggressive and argumentative but like um, just take the initiative like I said and 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 act like they want to um, compromise with you and, and be with you even you know and I see that's what you want you want them to be take more action than to sit back and just like throw throw these big words at you and and you know judge you you know it's what I'm getting okay let's see <clears throat> what is the overall outcome here for cancer I see an Empress here. I'm talking Aries Taurus energy, y'all. That Aries Taurus is finding their way into your reading. 
I, I feel like a lot of guys are watching this reading. I do. Because I also see that um, there is a very feminine energy here. I believe this feminine energy is um, it, very receptive. Um, very much knows her worth. I feel like this person has their shit together. I do see a new beginning. I see growth between you guys. But for you guys, I feel like you want to be the one to kind of let your walls down and let this person in and take action for you guys. But for you girls, for you women, for you ladies, I feel like you guys know your worth. You know your worth. And it's like you're not going to let somebody bully you into doing something that you don't want to freaking do. Because you know your worth. And that's beautiful. So again, uh, the Empress here is, is Taurus, Aries, Libra energy. We do have Libra, Aries here. Um, we saw Taurus with the Hierophant jumping out. So I feel like um, this, is, this is very strong for somebody. That this is a person that has Aries, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Um, they may have Taurus tendencies, but Taurus and Aries can kind of behave similar sometimes as far as like, you know, being bullheaded, <laughs> you know, and standing their ground and, um, you know, believing what they believe and not budging from that shit. So, yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Hopefully I don't get thrown off by something else um, later in the month, guys.